Oh, he's got a total CFL jacket on. Fuck, that's all right, man. Hey, how you going, champ? That's the mad cow. Hey, your stampede is lost for that ring you got, Dawson, man, eh? Where is it? Two thousand eight number one supporter fans ring. Okay, Mick. Smart take it away. I Obviously a Tiger Hat fan. Let's just uh, just just gonna take a little peek here. Oh my goodness. He's right a down skirt. there. Tell him he's wearing a skirt. I think that's a kilt. I think that's a kilt there. Oh, oh! Tiger Cat, Tiger Cat, Jason number one. No, this fellas, he's 99. 99, Vancouver. Anyway, uh, Danny Rogers, bit of mad cow. Showing up that. What's on the menu tonight? Oh, my good look at that lovely culinary delectable. Where's Dolly? Where's Dolly? Time legends of CFL fans, Cooch 36, 37 Grey Cups. Is that correct, mate? Yes, yeah, 36 in a row, 1974 to 2009, and I still have my original lever. And this guy's one of the legends of the Grey Cup parades out there in Vancouver and 05, Edmonton, Calgary, mate. You love the parades and you go up and down with the duck, hey? What's the story here with the goose, the chicken? What's the story? Well, the story with the chicken is, you know, sometimes during the Grey Cups, you want your chicken choked, eh? So I just carry it around my neck, and sometimes it does happen. Mate, that's funny. Back home, the red and white roosters are chooks, so the red and white stampede is screwed up. You boys screwed up. Uh, tip for the Grey Cup. I think ours will win. What do you reckon? Riders got any chance? You hate the riders, right? I don't hate anybody. That's a very, very deep word. Sorry. I, uh, I accept everybody, but I am pulling for the Owls because I want Anthony Cavill to retire so we can finally get rid of him and move on in our lives for the rest of the league, and maybe somebody else will have a chance to be first place in the East. Yeah, everyone's a bit sick of the Owls. I think they're going to win. Pooch, great to see you again. One of the true legend fans of the CFL. Good to see you, man. Well, it's Friday morning. Great cup. We had a great night at the Spirit of Edmonton last night. Here with my beautiful co-host of the Calgary Stampede, Rodeo Sienna. You looking forward to the CFL alumni luncheon today? Oh, it's going to be a good one. Lou Basabi and Milch Stiegel. I know those two will be there for sure. And there's uh, Dave Randall is going to be co-hosting the whole show. He's going to have a great lineup today. I'm really looking forward to the show. That's dead right. The TSM boys will be here. Chris Schultz and Jock Climby as well. Milch Stiegel, what a legend. And uh, who else? Who else are you looking forward to? You, you know one of the Forzani boys. They're very famous in this town. Is oh, that correct? The Forzani group is huge here. They have major stores. They do a lot of sports kind of things here. And so John Forzani will be here. I'm looking forward to seeing him too. Lee Ezrins, the former Bomber Grey Cup player and Tiger Cat player. He's the boss here. He's the executive director of the CFL Alumni Association. There are major sponsor of the 09 snowball it's snowing now so let's hope it snows sunday morning snowball <laughs>
CFL alumni luncheon was fantastic. The TSM boys were great. They interviewed quite a few of the alumni. Here with Arthur, legend tailgater, mate of mine, and his grey cup ring. Arthur, who were some of the alumni that you particularly enjoyed listening to today? I really like Tony Gabriel. I got a chance to meet him. Really nice guy, legend, signed me an autograph, was there with classic collectibles, great stuff good collectibles a lot of good stuff on display today a lot of good players out Rocco Romano is there another nice guy from the stamps uh, Jackie Kellogg another legendary stamp was there great guy as well Chris Schultz I got a nice picture of me and him excellent NFL guru as far as predictions go CFL too there was a lot of names Damon Allen great interview with Damon Allen I enjoyed that did you like that yeah, Allen looks like he has an age today. He's only been out of the league a little bit, but yeah, he looks great. It was a great day. We met a lot of the players. Jackie Kellogg was there, Scott Coe, some of the Stampeders, and Jackie's going to be hosting, co-hosting with Sienna, the 09 Snowball. So we look forward to Sunday and seeing some more of the alumni at the 09 Snowball.